How to create a Facebook ad account for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now we all know that Facebook ads have become one of the best ways to advertise your business. They can help you in reaching a larger audience as well as gaining more converting customers. And Facebook provides you with such a detailed ad platform that helps you in targeting the correct audience for your ads as well as finding the optimum level of ratio for the type of ads you should create. So let's jump into creating our own ad account. Now for this, you do need to have your own Facebook page. So you can just create a Facebook page in one second. It can be a fresh Facebook page, it doesn't matter. You can still create a ad account. So once you have done that, once you've created your page, just log into your page over here. And once you log on to your page, you will see your page is going to look like this. Over here, you're going to click on your Meta Business Suite. So once you click on the Meta Business Suite, you're going to be led to Facebook Basic Manager, which is Meta. We can do all of our business management on Meta. Now, over here for businesses, especially when you're looking to create your ad account, you might want to have a Instagram account linked with your business. So you can click on connect Instagram to open up Instagram and link that over here as well. For my business, I don't have Instagram, so I don't need to connect that. But if you do, you can do that as well. Now, once you proceed into the meta business suite, you can either directly click on ads on the left or you can access your settings. Now, in your settings, you're going to have your business profile. So you can select your business profile from here. And we're going to click on ads on the left. And once we click on ads on the left, we will see all of our ad summary. So we can click on get started over here. And from here, you can proceed with the ad campaign section of Facebook. So from here, uh, you can choose the type of ad you want to create. However, this is not a Facebook ad account. After you create your campaign, it's going to lead you to a Facebook ad account, but that might be a default ad account that might be linked to your personal profile. So alternatively, you can just open up a new tab and search for a Facebook ad account like so, and you will see the second option where you have to create a Facebook ad account. You can click on that and on the top right, your Facebook page icon should be showing up. So once that is showing up, you can click on start now over here. And this will lead you to your ad manager, even if you haven't created a campaign as of yet. And this is what your ad account is going to look like. So from here, you're going to see any and all of your campaigns, your account overview. You can see on the top right, this is my account. And you guys can see this is again linked with my personal account, but you can see all of the different profiles that are linked. And you will see different ads and as well as your ad account settings. So you can click on ad account settings over here. Once you go into your ad manager, you can see all of the profiles that are linked. So who is the basic manager of this account as well as the uh, ad account admin, any type of permissions that you have given. And you can click on pages on the left and you will see the pages that are linked or associated with your particular ad account. Now, the easiest way, definitely, you can just uh, proceed with a Facebook profile over here and just proceed over here to create your page. And once you create the ad campaign, a ad manager is created for you. So you can just click on promote page. You don't have to go through, you know, a bunch of unnecessary loopholes. Just create your first campaign and a ad account can be created for you. So you can just choose any pre-existing content and promote that or you can specifically create content for ads. So from here we can start creating our first ad and the first thing you will see on the top is going to be your business account that you want. So I'm going to leave and select a secondary account from here and once we do that we can proceed with the rest of our ad creative. So I haven't completed authentication on that so I think I'm going to go with the other one instead. And now I can build the rest of my campaign. You can see that when you're building campaigns, you can also do this in your ad manager. You can directly go into the meta ad manager and just click on campaigns on the left. Click on create and once you click on create, you have different types of campaigns that you can build. This includes things based on awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, app promo and sales. 
as well as any of your discarded drafts. Now on the bottom left, you can also access a section called all tools and in all tools, you can also manage your Facebook business where you can choose what type of billing you want. You can also add other applications. You can also choose your brand safety as well as analyze the ads you're already running. You also can set certain automation rules that can help you in boosting your business. Now, one other thing to note is that you are going to have the default advertiser settings. So you can click on those to manage those as well in your ad manager on Facebook ad accounts. So from here, you're going to see your account controls as well as the limit to who sees your ads and where they're going to appear. You also have Advantage Creative where you can test new optimizations, audience segments that you can define, default beneficiary and payer, and name templates where you can create your campaigns, ad sets, and create templates based on naming conversions. Now, with every business, your advertising settings are going to give you recommendations based upon the stage that your business is in. So if I go into my other business portfolio over here, I can create a new business portfolio for our new Facebook page, which is, I think, the Meraki page. I can enter my contact info like so, and I'll just add a email address, click on create over here. And once I click on create at the bottom right, I would be able to now add a new asset. And in this, I'm going to select this new Facebook page and I'll click on next. Once I've done that, I can click on next and continue. And now we have a completely new ad manager or a completely new business profile and ad account for the separate Facebook page that we just created. Now, one thing I do recommend is that you can create just one portfolio and you can link different assets within it. So you don't have to necessarily create multiple different ad accounts. You can just connect them in one. For that, just go into all tools over here. In all tools, you can see your ad account settings and you can link multiple different accounts in your ad account that is present on Facebook. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.